Hey guys, welcome back. I'm super, super jacked today. I'm gonna stun on everybody at the track. I got the 18th scale high box and ratchet sand rail truck or buggy, excuse me. This thing's about to have everyone hating on me, to be honest with you. Um, I've been waiting for this. It's been out for about three years. They had uh, the hailstorm, the rampage, uh, a couple other versions of this truck that you could really mix and match. This is a true hobby grade truck. It's only $80 shipped to your door. Uh, the Hailstorm, Ratchet, Gallop, those were the trucks that it that were available when this released. Let's just get right into it. This is what you're gonna get with the truck. Uh, first off, you're gonna get a remote. I don't know how I feel about this. It feels good right here. This is, this is more of a hard plastic. Looks like it's got a slow, and a fast speed, so definitely be that running out on fast today. Reverse steering, steering trim, on off switch, pretty simple remote. Doesn't stand up, so that sucks. But that's here nor there. I plan on having this in my hand when it's set down anyway. Uh, so the remote, let's see. Uh, sorry about the camera shake there. Two AA batteries go in there. Get those loaded up today. You get a screwdriver, pretty standard tool for all RC cars. Hood pins, extra hood clips. Those are tiny, so I'm gonna probably put some clip grabbers on that. Stickers, gotta have numbers to race. This, calls, this car is called the Ratchet, and what's funny about that is I'm from a place called Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and the slang name for it is Cedar Ratchet. So this is going to represent all day, all night, Cedar Ratchet, the Ratchet, high boxing Ratchet. Comes with the Lion 650 milliamp battery. That's awesome. It's definitely going to give you more juice than an iCab. The fin. Goes on the back with a couple screws. Here is the USB charger. Not a fan of this. I'd rather just see the full plug-in capacitor. And this is a Dean's plug, I wish. It's not, but I wish it was a Dean's plug because it'd be more universal to the batteries that I use. And this car is brushless ready, so you can use a LiPo and a brushless motor to upgrade with it. So that's something I'd like to see a little bit different. But that's here and over there. Looks like we have some binding instructions. Make sure the car is bound to the remote correctly in case you're having any issues with that. This pamphlet's actually, this instruction manual is actually really nice. It's, it's like a nice heavy paper, gloss paper. And it goes through all the instructions set up. But the most important thing about this is going to be, let's see if we can find it, this page, parts page. This is going to tell you it's a hobby grade vehicle, high quality. Uh, you could basically build your car, rebuild it with all the parts, ordering them out of here. So, one really great thing about hobby grade cars is their compatibility with each other, same size, same scale. So let's look at the car. This is it, fellas. Oops. Bam. 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 Get some. Yeah, this is awesome. Feels great. Very sturdy. Composite plastic has become the thing with these cars. I can't believe this is only $80. Jesus. This thing's awesome, fellas. Let's see the spring ring right there. Ooh, we, we got some. Yeah, I'm pushing down nice. This is a four wheel drive vehicle. So it's got CVDs. It looks like they're all plastic with the tie rods as well. As you can see, CVDs. DVD setup. I don't know if you can see that on there. CVDs, tie rods. Tires feel really great. They're spongy. 
They're, these are going to grip. They have foam in them. So this is, man, this is awesome. I can't believe this. Okay. I'm getting more and more excited, fellas. Sorry. Uh, power button on the back. Looks like it's a push button. You know that? That's pretty cool. I haven't had that. hope it lights up. We'll see that. We'll see if it does that. One thing I'm noticing already. Dang. There's no heat sink. That's huge. Got to have a heat sink, fellas. So we'll get that added on there just so, because we're going to run it hard. And I just definitely want to dissipate the heat. And that's what a heat sink does. It said it came with one, which was actually showing one. It's actually showing one right here on the instructions. So I'm not sure what happened there. But take a look at the car. Four-wheel drive. It's got a metal drive shaft. So that's awesome. Don't have to do much to upgrade this. The shocks, they're not oil filled, they're spring rate return. This car is great. If you guys have never heard of high boxing, they have a great line of cars and RC vehicles. They're out of directly out of China, but I certainly recommend you take a look at them because this car, I'm telling you, they're gonna hate. I'm just gonna stun on them all day with this. I'm gonna have so many people coming up to me asking me about this car. If this runs like it feels and looks, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Fellas, this is the 118 scale high boxing ratchet sand rail buggy. If you haven't heard about it, check down in the description below. I'll show you where you can get this car. It's $80 to your door shipped. You get it in about, you, there's options to get it between two days and two weeks. So. Yeah, this car's awesome. I'm ready to run it. I'm going to get the fin put on it. We'll get you some video footage of the car actually running. It looks like you can put LEDs up here. And it's got the extra space on the servo. Or excuse me, that on the ESC. That's not the servo. This is the ESC. The servo's up here that steers the car. Excuse me, right here. Man, this is great. I love this flip wing, too. Easy access. This is this is so awesome. Fellas, one last look before we go racing. Get her dirty. Bam. 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 I box and ratchet. 18 scale sand rail truck. Buggy. Excuse me. Get some.